Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Sonia. In this video, I will talk to you about setting up your own digital forensics lab at home to practice Windows forensics. Building your own digital forensics lab at home is a great way to learn the basics of digital forensics by yourself. It involves gathering the required hardware and software tools and setting them up for use. Are you wondering what they might be? Considering hardware, it involves a laptop or personal computer with sufficient disk space. Considering software tools, it involves setting up virtual machines. There is a blog post on NCSI's library that provides more information about the hardware and software requirements for your own forensics lab. You will find the link to this post in the description box below. In that post, you will also find some tips on how you can maintain your lab. Once your lab is set up, you are a scientist, ready to run your own digital forensics experiments. Do you need some direction on how to get started with using your lab? Here it is a simple experiment idea. This involves working with Windows event logs, which is a feature built into Windows to log critical system and application events. First, start with understanding what Windows event logs are, followed by understanding the various categories of event logs that exist. Identify where the event logs exist on a Windows computer. Each log entry across all the categories have multiple fields of information like name of the application that generated the log, when the log was generated, description of the event that generated the log, and more. Once you have an idea about how event logs exist and work, you are ready to start performing forensics on it. Now I will introduce an interesting tool called System Monitor, abbreviated as Sysmon. This tool was released by Microsoft. Once you install this tool, it records data about how the computer is being used. It records information about process creation, changes to files, network connections, and much more. Set up System Monitor first. On a Windows virtual machine, start an application. For example, PowerShell. Run a simple script in PowerShell. Copy the event logs from the virtual machine to your host computer. This step is critical because it simulates the acquisition of evidence from a suspect's computer. Once the logs have been acquired, the next step is to identify the tool that you can use to view them. Considering Windows event logs, you can view the logs from another computer using Windows Event Viewer installed on your computer. There are other third-party tools that you can utilize for this task. Finally, once you process the Windows Event Logs, acquire and process the logs generated by System Monitor 2. Identify the log entries indicating use of PowerShell and execution of a script in PowerShell. If you can find them, then congratulations. You have successfully run your first digital forensics experiment. If not, keep looking until you can find them. Another important concept to remember during forensic investigations is hashing. Once you acquire any evidence, it is critical to ensure that the evidence remains unchanged throughout the entire investigation. For this reason, a hash value can be calculated. If the hash value of a piece of evidence, say an event log file, taken once the evidence is acquired, matches the hash value taken after the evidence has been processed, then it is assured that the integrity of the evidence is maintained. There is a blog post in NCSI's library that highlights the importance of hashing. You can find the link to that post in the description box below. Now you have an idea about how practical experiments can be conducted in your own home lab. Once you choose to study about the forensic artifacts of a specific Windows feature, gather multiple resources and understand how the feature works. Then, understand what the forensic value of that feature is. Simulate an experiment in your lab setup. Acquire the evidence. Calculate hash values. Process the evidence and see what data you can find about your experiment. Calculate the hash values again, once your experiment is over, to validate the integrity of the evidence. I hope you have a good idea now. 
about how you can utilize your digital forensics lab at home to learn practical digital forensics skills. Be curious and explore. You never know what interesting discovery you may stumble upon. Good luck. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills, if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.